Hey everybody, so I'm back after being a bit ill. So I wanted to do a quick tutorial on um, menu flow. By menu flow, I mean how you get um, how you get your game to have like an intro menu kind of thing, a main menu, loading screen, and that kind of stuff. So what I've got here is. Um, this is version 4.7.1, but it shouldn't really make any difference. Certainly 4.6 should be okay with this stuff. And I would imagine even 4.5 would be fine. Um, so I've just made a copy of the third person template blueprint thing, uh, just as what it normally does. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this into uh, one where you actually sort of choose play game from a menu and that kind of thing. So, there's a few things uh, we need to get started really. Um, one is that if you go to project settings, there's an important set of um, information in the project settings maps and modes part that we need to take care of. So what you'll look at is well there's two things really one is that we want to be able to say which map to start with which st map is the sort of thing that starts the game and currently it's loading that third person example map but we we need to change this later on so that it's loading a menu map um basically a map that only has a menu system in it uh, so we'll change this value so remember to, to look at it in project settings, maps and modes. The other thing is that we'll need a custom game instance. Um, so I'll, I'll talk you through what a game instance is in a bit, but we'll, we'll just get some stuff kind of made first. So let's create a new folder, call it UI. Uh, and we're gonna start making some menus up uh, just to get something kind of ready. So let's create a user widget, call it main menu. And we we'll probably need a few more, right? So let's think about it. We need the main menu which with the options for playing the game. We need an in-game menu. So let's create one of those. In-game menu. We need a win screen of some sort, something that says what happens when we win. So let's add that one. Win menu, and we need a lose, obviously if we've got a win, so let's do a lose menu. I mean, you could probably do both of those in the same menu, but let's do it separately. And we need a loading screen, because we want to be able to tell the user that we're loading level. So, loading menu. Um, so let's just start by, you know, putting some basic buttons and things in here. So let's load up the main menu. Um, primitive, no, there we go, button. So we need a button. Now I'll leave it for you to make these things pretty, so I'm not gonna spend a lot of time doing the, the actual interface for this. Uh, let's have two buttons, one for play and one for quit. Uh, drag the text onto the button, and the text is going to say "Oop!" I typed properly, wouldn't it? Play game, and let's change the colour to something a bit more suitable, and then another one of those. Change that colour as well. And let's have that say, quit game. Uh, probably want a little bit bigger. So let's make the buttons slightly bigger. See, I'm just eyeballing this stuff, so obviously you can spend more time doing that. Uh, Play game. It's a really big play game. Okay. So what we need to do is we need to bind an action to this 
But let's, um, before we do that, let's go and do some of the other um, other menus. So, come back to that one. So the loading menu is basically just some text to say loading, uh -huh. loading. Uh, let's put loading dot 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 because I like that. And uh, for now, where is it? Primitive editable text throbber. Ooh, we could have a throbber. Circular throbber. Let's have a throbber. Um, for no real reason. But actually, what I was looking for was not input panel progress bars. The guy. Um, unfortunately, the loading system doesn't sort of work asynchronously, uh, as far as I know yet. So, um, yeah, it's not it's not quite going to work the way we expect it yet, but. I'm sure that'll come. Okay, so we've got a uh, main menu, loading screen. Let's do the win menu. Just put something in there. So let's go to common. Uh, big font. <laughs> Might be a bit. Uh, you win. Let's Where's the justification centered? Yep. You win. Uh, we'll put a button on. And we'll put some text on there. It says, go for a sort of darkish color. Uh, put like, okay bit bigger so basically we're going to put this screen up when I have a win condition and do something with it and the same kind of thing with a lose screen so let's do that now button text block okay Make it bigger and dark. And we'll put another text block. Just about the center. You lose. lose. Make it huge. I think it needs to be bigger than that if you lose, doesn't it? about that yeah it looks good you will be able to miss them hopefully so let's I suppose first thing we can do is we can hook up some system to say what happens when we win or lose here just to show those menus um, so I'm going to create a let's kind of create a BSP box somewhere over here uh, I'm just doing this so that there's like something visual in the world so I know where it is yep so that box is going to be what you step on to win and then we're going to copy the same thing uh, actually should I yeah let's just Move it a little bit closer. Okay, so uh, Control C, Control V, get another one. So what we're going to do is I'm going to create a volumes trigger, trigger volume. I mean, obviously you'll have your own win and lose conditions for whatever. 
so this guy is win volume win trigger trigger and this guy is lose trigger um okay so what we can do is in our blueprints up and level blueprint yeah, and in the event graph we can and an event for lose trigger collision oh that's a begin overlap so basically we're just going to do in the level blueprint but you can do it wherever you like the the sort of logic for winning and losing and stuff uh, and then we'll do the same thing for this guy and he went for winter uh, collision oh, that's a beginning of that so we're going to do some logic uh, when our guy steps in it let's just make sure that that actually works by putting print strings in it's a loose trigger so let's just make sure this works So if we save everything, so if I go over here, win, yeah, if I go over here, lose. Uh, we might want to just put in, where are we, basic, where's the, should be a text something or other somewhere down here, shouldn't it? text render let's put one of those in so we know which one's which um, so let's just set the text to win and move it up a bit win 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 uh, where's the size of that thing World size? Is that it? Yeah, okay. And horizontal alignment center. So we're gonna copy that one. Control C control C control V and put lose. Uh just to check, make sure I've got the right one. Win, yeah. Lose, yeah. Okay, so now I can trigger a win or a lose condition. And we can start actually working on the menu systems. Um, so let's just go through the theory of what um, what this menu system stuff's going to do. 